We've heard a lot from teammates and coaches about how much improvements you've been making behind the scenes. How do you feel better prepared? And where do you think your improvements have been made most since you last played in that game against the Cardinals? I think all around. I mean, it was a long time ago um, that I played. It seems like a long time ago, uh, the Cardinals game. Uh, but all around, I mean, I've gotten to, to see Jimmy go through different situations, uh, whether it's in games or in practices. Um, I also having Nate Sudfeld in the room is a huge help for me. Um, just just to have another person to bounce ideas off to ask questions to. Um, and Jimmy also, like I said, has, has always been there to answer my questions. Um, from a health standpoint, I think I feel probably the most healthy I've felt uh, since I've been here. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, getting more reps, getting to see things like how Jimmy prepares in, in a short week, you know, last Thursday, um, things like that, that would have been really hard for me just as, as a rookie with no vets in the room. Uh, I think those things, uh, have helped me a ton this year. Trey, as far as, um, scout team and, and overlap with what you guys do on offense, um, just wondering if there have been some games, uh, some weeks of preparation that have been more valuable to you, um, or, or another way to phrase it, I guess, is which, which weeks have sort of stood out to you in preparation? Uh, I don't know if any are, are more valuable because I think, uh, I guess the way I look at it, whether I'm playing as, you know, I was Justin Fields when we played Chicago, obviously he can move. Uh, then I went to play Kirk. You know what I mean? I think I gained a lot from from both of those. Obviously, our, our D line is really good. So I appreciate it when I can play kind of how I play and, and be off schedule. But when I'm, you know, emulating for the defense, a quarterback that doesn't move and necessarily a lot doesn't, you know, play off schedule. Um, I think there's there's things that I gain from that for sure. You know, I get used to making different throws that I necessarily don't necessarily see myself making. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's good to get those reps. Trey, can you um, just tell us what this le- what this week was like for you uh, running the first team so so much since you hadn't done so in about three months? And then uh, Jimmy Ward said yesterday you completed a couple passes on him. So I'm wondering how helpful that is to go against the first team off uh, first team defense, which you've done most of the season anyhow. Yeah, going against those guys is awesome, and obviously it's a huge challenge um, with Fred in the middle, Jimmy. I mean, I could go you know name the whole defense, uh, but. Yeah, Jimmy's locker's right next to mine, actually. So we get to talk a little bit after practice. Um, and it's always good to get reps against those guys. Um, and obviously practicing with the first team this week. Um, don't know if Jimmy's going to be able to go or not on, on Sunday. But for me to be able to get those reps, I think was huge. Um, whether I go on Sunday or not, I, I think I gained a lot from him. Trey, uh, Fred Warner mentioned the other day a conversation that you guys had a while back Um just about, you know, maybe you cutting it loose a little bit more in practice, taking some more downfield shots or trying to throw into tight windows and things like that. Do you remember when that conversation took place and maybe kind of what clicked for you when when you did have that conversation with Fred? Yeah, we've, we've had the conversation a couple of times, um, sometimes more maybe, you know, heated than others. I don't necessarily want to say heated, but just, you know, I'm, I'm a competitor. Fred's obviously uh, one of the best competitors I've ever been around. Um and for him to, to, to care, you know, not only about the look they're getting, but also my development, um, him, you know, kind of pulled me off to the side or maybe us shouting across the line of scrimmage, whatever it was. Um, it's, it's kind of finding a happy medium uh, between giving those guys a look, obviously, and, and finding a way to, to make myself better. Not necessarily finding a happy medium, but, but finding a way to make myself better while giving those guys the looks. Um, and even if it's, it's throwing a ball that I necessarily don't want to throw, um it's 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 important for those guys and and obviously I can get something out of it too you know finding a way to to finding a way to to complete that pass hey uh, Trey not having talked to you since your uh, start against Arizona when you looked at that game um did you I guess what were your takeaways and you know how valuable was it as a learning experience yeah, it was it was huge. Uh, I mean, any reps I can get, um, I think I, I gain a lot from mentally and physically. Uh, looking back at the game, um, specifically a couple of plays. Obviously, the fourth downs converting um, the 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 fourth and one on the goal line. I think if I score there, uh, it changes the whole game. Uh, so I think that's probably one of the plays that I look back on most. You know, frustrated with myself that I didn't uh, make that happen and, and let those guys down right there, but. Uh, throughout the game, I mean, I learned a lot. Some good, some bad. I think that's kind of how every game's 
uh, going to go. Uh, but, yeah, I'd say that, that fourth and one, not scoring on the goal line definitely hurt. And then, uh, obviously, us not converting on, on third down, fourth down, um, that's, that's tough to do. Uh, it's tough to win games that way. But uh, a lot of good, too. Uh, I don't want to take away the good from it because we had a lot of guys that, that played really, really well. Um, so it was a ton of fun. And, and like I said, obviously, you learned a lot from it. Trey, some of your teammates and Mike McDaniel have talked about how leadership wise, your personality has really started to shine through the last couple of months. And as guys have gotten to know you better, is that just something that was um, planned? Is that just kind of who you are? And really, what have you learned from about leadership from Jimmy Garoppolo? I've learned a ton from Jimmy, uh, the type of person he is, um, always willing to, to help guys out, uh, whether it's offense, defense or special teams. I mean, he really cares. He's a really great teammate. Um, for me, um, I think probably just becoming more comfortable, finding my role, embracing my role a little bit more, I guess, those last few weeks. Uh, it's probably what those guys are talking about. But, I mean, for me, it's it's about finding my role. Like I said, Jimmy's our starting quarterback. Uh, so if he can go on Sunday, you know, I'm going to continue to do my job and be as prepared as I can in case, in case something happens to him. But, I mean, Jimmy's toughness, like him playing a whole, you know, three quarters of a game with, with what happened to his thumb, uh, it's not a whole lot of guys that, that could have done that. Trey, the 49ers locker room is known for being very close. Uh, Richard Sherman was in it previously and was kind of the guy who everybody went to as a resource. Who have you leaned on outside the quarterback's room in the locker room just to get some guidance and leadership? Yeah, I mean, I'm super blessed. I could name 30 guys. Uh, I mean, we have so many guys on our team that are, you know, different personality types, but lead in their own way. Um, obviously Fred is a great one, Jimmy Ward, um, talking about defensive guys, but I mean, we could go all the way across from Alex Mack, you know, Lakin, our whole entire offensive line, Trent, obviously, uh, I mean, we just have so many guys that have been, um, in the league for so long. So for me as a rookie, uh, obviously learning, you know, not only football side of things, but, but outside of football, uh, for them being able to teach me and kind of take me under their wing. I mean, I'm super thankful for it. Just for clarity, you you said as far as your your locker room uh, arrangement, you're next to Jimmy Ward. Yes, sir. Do you, do you think that the, that's was done on purpose? That you know he's the longest tenured guy. He's uh, the quarterback on defense. Do you think the 49ers arranged that so that you would have those types of conversations with him? I don't know. They might have. That, that might be stretched a little bit. But uh, I'll ask the EQ guys. But it's it's definitely been been awesome for me. It was actually Jimmy Ward and Jason Verrett. Uh, JV is on my on my other side, so it's been awesome for me. But but like you know, like I mentioned, our locker room super close. Uh, so me shouting across the locker room to to Lakin isn't anything. We'll do a couple more. It, Trey, you mentioned earlier about you feel healthier than than you've ever felt since or for a while here. How much of an issue was your right index finger early in the season and and through that game against the Cardinals? I mean, it, it was frustrating, uh, but it wasn't like I couldn't throw the football. You know, it was more of a thing where the inflammation and everything, when I chipped the bone, I just, it, it wouldn't straighten all the way. So it's kind of been a, a continuous thing every day, just working at getting it straighter and straighter and straighter and, and obviously getting the swelling to go down. Um, but just finishing throws, I think, was probably the, the biggest thing uh, when you can't straighten that pointer finger that you're used to, you know, finishing all your throws with, I think was the biggest part of it. Uh, but, yeah, it's just continuing to get better. Trey, what was it like taking a full week's worth of reps with the with Debo, Samuel, George Kittle, and the other starters as opposed to working the scout team this week? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I, I think I gained a lot from it. Uh, I get a lot better for sure. And obviously being around those guys, uh, the energy they bring every single day, every single rep, um, and just their playmaking abilities, um, obviously is, is a lot of fun to be around. The last one, Cam. Hey, Trey, one more health question. Um, Matt brought up the finger, but can you bring up uh, this, what it was like with the sprained knee, um, how scary that was the day after the game, and just in this, the whole process of recovering from the sprained knee? Yeah, it was kind of weird. I, I didn't know that anything happened um, until, I think, until really I was laying in my bed, and I kind of rolled over, and it just felt weird. So I texted our, our trainers and just let them know. Um, thankfully it wasn't anything too serious. I wasn't super concerned because I didn't really feel anything during the game, but, uh, I was just frustrated. Obviously I wanted to, to be able to be ready to go for the Colts game in case something happened to Jimmy. Um, but thankfully Jimmy was able to be back for it. Um, so 
you know, I guess that's that's all I got to say about it. It was frustrating, but uh, I feel feel great now. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Happy New Year.